All right guys, so we got our fourth flush of agaricus mushrooms here, and we're about to cut off the dirt and make sure there's no maggots inside of them so we can prepare them for dehydration. We're gonna make mushroom ketchup. <laughs> Ideally, you guys want it as pink as possible. They'll start to turn brown over time. The other thing is check them for maggots. But yeah, we just gotta cut this stem off. You'll see if the maggots are infesting it, you'll see little holes where they've dug and ate inside the mushroom. Obviously, if you just tear it apart a little bit, you'll see them swimming around in there in their own filth, <laughs> being maggots. So yeah, if you see that, I would I would advise you to just throw the whole thing away because you don't know how far they've gotten into the mushroom. They like to work their way up into the stipe, up the stipe, into the cap. You gotta watch out for that. Guys, the best time to pick them is right either before the veil is torn or right after the veil is torn. I kind of prefer, you know, I mean, either or. But um, they start to spread out more and flatten out, but much rather eat a younger one. Yes. Wait, are we doing um, grams or ounces? Ounces. The field agaricus is fast maturing and has a short shelf life. There's no yellow staining anywhere in the mushroom. And it has a nice cross section. The original recipes for ketchup had mushrooms as the primary ingredient as opposed to tomatoes. We will be using some of our wild agaricus to make mushroom ketchup of our own. We will start by breaking our mushrooms into small chunks in a bowl and salting them heavily. We will then allow them to set in the fridge overnight. The rest of the mushroom ketchup process will be in our next video.